Good morning. Andy here and his world journeys duck to Dakar. Starting in Sofia today. Day 50 something. It's the 19th of March and we are heading off to Skopje, North Macedonia. This take for sure. sure. By planes, buses, trains and cars. I'm heading from Dakar to Dakar. Let's go to Skopje. Macedonia, they were previously known as the former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. So I guess now they're the former, former Yugoslav Republic of Macedonia. I already made this joke to some guys, they thought it was funny. Maybe. Oh, and there's no McDonald's as far as I know in Skopje, um, which is a pity because the actual pronunciation of Macedonia in this part is Macedonia, and I could have had a Big Mac in Macedonia, and that would have been anyway. Well, folks, here we are. Well folks, Imadirxi, that was the bus trip here and now it's the next day. Let's have a little look at uh, Skopje. So you see there's uh, a bit of cloud coming through, you can see mountains and um, this is from my apartment which is pretty good and uh, yeah, actually very happy to have an apartment here for a few days and um, tennis, yeah. I'm just going to go for a little wander today and maybe check out something. Uh, tomorrow they're forecasting very bad weather, so it might be a day to stay in and uh, catch up with my editing. It's really interesting, isn't it? The uh, red double-decker buses are uh, running up and down, and I think up there is uh, Macedonia Square, so I should we could head over in that direction. Certainly something interesting about this city, uh, it's not much of a city in terms of size, it's not very big at all, but um, there is a sort of a rundown Soviet feel to it. And then you come out here into this square and um, cheapest, it's a Statue Central. Great Macedonians, uh, world famous Macedonians. Well, I mean, when you think of great Macedonians, we're talking about Alexander the Great, aren't we? And of course there's Mother Teresa as well. Already I get the feeling this is a city of uh, bridges and statues and over here we have the aptly named Stone Bridge over the Varda River. And right behind these gentlemen we have the Museum of Archaeology. Restaurant, cafe, boats along the Varda River seem to be popular here. Hmm. Macedonian colours are basically red and yellow. If you're an Aussie Rules fan, you might think of the Gold Coast Suns, although not many people do. This here is a church behind the uh, tent. Interesting church with an interesting bell tower. The oldest preserved church in all of Skopje dates from the 14th century, a masterpiece of Macedonian wood carving. It was a bell tower. Mm 
very small church. This apparently is a hotel or a hostel. Man, I wish I was staying here. Well, actually I'm very happy where I am. <laughs> but, um, now, now here's a place with a little bit of uh, character. It's a little bit like a uh, hotel in the abandoned Mexican city. Yeah? for a wedding dress fix because I found the place. Twenty second of March twenty twenty three, day fifty eight, and we're back at it. Out and about in downtown Skopje and um as Ice Ice Baby plays in the background, could it be a more surreal setting to this special uh, house dedicated to a Mother Teresa? And over right there, we have uh, a cathedral that's uh, under construction and not far away, I'd say, from completion. The, the uh, domes are glistening with gold and there's a, uh, a bell tower over there too. Interesting statue, they've actually got tears in her eyes. And it's a lovely chapel here. So go find your bus, mister. Go find your bus, mister. Got a fight number 25. If you're visiting Skopje and you want to go up Vodno, you want bus 25, it can take a while. Aren't they cool though? They're a homage apparently to the London double deckers. Hmm. Number 25, folks. We simply have to go to the top of the bus. Oh yes. How exciting, a whole bus just for me. For me. Let's go up the mountain and say hello to Bob. I can actually see something when we're up there, who knows. <coughs> Not a great day for it, is it? I think the bus ride is coming to an end. But it's the fun has only begun. So getting up here is reasonably easy. Uh, on the bus you need the number 25, it only leaves sort of every hour from the main bus station but it does go through the centre of town. Um, bus rides are, I'm not sure exactly how much they are but they're less than one US dollar per ride. You have to go and find the kiosks that sell the cards. You load your money up on the card and uh, however much you've got. Each uh, One ride is apparently the same price. I'm not sure how it works tomorrow to Matka, which is further away, but we'll see. It's my first cable car ride of the entire trip.
over on that side you've got Skopje, over here there's a nice valley, people living in it. And they're building something to outdo the cross just there with observation decks and everything. And um, things are a bit shut over here on the Millennium Cross. It's, uh, it's definitely a, a lift that goes up to the, uh, the arms of the cross, but the lift ain't working, folks. And uh, interestingly, the, uh, the cable car only runs half an hour every hour. So from 2 to 2.30, 3 to 3.30. We've got a bus at, through at uh, 3.20, so we do need to make sure we get on that one. Not quite as small as I imagined it was. Uh, we're talking, we are talking about a city of only uh, half a million or so. But um, here it is in the light, it looks all right. Back down the hill and here we are. We took about 20 minutes back down and uh, we're in the center of town. And there's more to see. Fair dues to Skopje, they, um, they have these information boards and this one isn't as um, defaced as most of them. Yeah, interesting. Look, uh, museum time if, uh, if it's open. Jeepers, nothing's going on there. This is the Museum of the Macedonian Struggle and I'm told it's very dark. And um, quite literally apparently according to the guidebook. But uh, the doors aren't opening. Oh, this one is. Okay, green. Really. You would not know. Tickets. Okay, um, they got a bit shut down there, um, but uh, that was uh, uh, that was one of the weirder museums I've been to. I wish I could have filmed more in there. It's just full of wax figures um, for people who have fought for Macedonian independence, I guess, over the years against the Turks, even against uh, when they were part of Yugoslavia. So um, it doesn't really provide a very clear timeline of of, of uh, the history of this country, which would have been nice. Lots of wax figures, there's even a, a one of Lenin in there and uh, he was really, really short and I wonder if he was in real life. Anyway, check it out, a bit of sun. Uh, we're gonna check out the fortress. Uh, we're gonna check out a mosque and we might check out an art gallery. Folks, this building here is actually the National Art Gallery. How about that? Okay, and apparently uh, we're talking about Macedonian artists. Two Girls by Nikolai Martinovsky, 1932. A little bit of um, Impression is all, I want to say. This is an ancient building. Turns out it was a Haman, a Turkish bath. And it's been beautifully converted into the National Gallery. When the sun hits something nicely, you can't go wrong. A Mustafa Pasha, originally built in uh, 
1492, but I believe it was a fire and it was rebuilt at some point. And yeah, on the other side of the mosque, there's more Skopje for you. You, know, you can see a few mosques out there. One, two, three, four, five, at least five. Apparently there used to be a rule that the mosques had to be higher than the churches. All churches had to be lower than the mosques. I mean, Macedonia was, uh, you know, under the Ottoman rule for a very long time. Clearly this, uh, for me, I feel like this city is like 50-50 uh, Christian Muslim. I could be wrong, I could be right, I don't know. Both religions are very central to modern day Skopje. Finally today we're going to head up to the fortress which is basically just opposite, we're basically there. And um, check out the view as the sun goes down. Hopefully it's not too bad and not too much, uh, it's not blocked too much by the clouds. Folks, as the sun sets over Skopje, it might be time for me to return back to my little apartment and see you on the flip side. That's right folks, we are out in the countryside of a place called Matka. We're going down to see the Matka Lake, which is in that direction, I believe. A little, little half-day trip out from Skopje. Skopje! Um, yeah, today would be day 59, I think. And it is the 23rd of March, 2023. 23-3-23. It's a babbling brook, folks. A babbling, oh, it looks like they've got like a kayaking course happening here. That's nice, I think it's about a 15 minute walk down there. We might catch a quick boat ride and check out the lake. A lakey, lakey, lake got to do it in the most frugal way possible so I took the number 60 bus from the same place basically that I caught the number 25 yesterday up to Mount Vodno yeah it's the same price it's just one a uh, one trip on your uh, Skopje bus card uh, it takes you to the point where I uh, started and then I believe it's a 15 minute walk to the lake Let's get ourselves a trip, I guess. The trip is 200, which is about, uh, as they say, four, uh, four euro, 200 uh, Macedonian dinar, and uh, they need at least four people to go, and uh, it's just me, but look, people are coming. We might be lucky. Ah, uh, Andrew and Boats. It's a great combination.
folks, time to start packing and get ready to move on because tomorrow we're heading to Tirana. A very quick stop in Tirana and then uh, a ferry. Yes, the ferry. First ferry of this journey. Uh, how exciting. And um, so, yeah, something to look forward to. It was really great getting down to Matka. It's a nice little place. Um, you can spend a few hours there. There's a bit of walking, hiking too, if, if that takes your fancy. A lovely chance to just get out of a city for a change. Um, and in general, I've uh, had a good time here in Skopje. So um, I don't know what I can tell you about this place. Um, it's a small city. And um, there are a few things worth seeing. It's pretty in parts. Um, yeah, you can take a cable car. That's always good. Thank you for joining me on this one. Dakar to Dakar continues. So I'll see you on the next one. Take care wherever you are in the world. May the journey never end.